In this video, we're taking a look at what's inside my laptop bag, and maybe just a little bit of the bag itself, the Peak Design Everyday Messenger 13 liter V2. Now, during my normal routine, I use a laptop bag nearly every day. It holds all of my gear when I'm heading to the co-working space or the coffee shop, and currently, it's just a really great place to keep all of my tech stuff together while we're working from home. Over the last few years, I've tested my fair share of laptop bags, refining what I carry along the way. I found what works well for me, and hopefully this video can help you find what works well for you. We'll leave links down in the description below for all of the products featured in this video, some of which we've fully reviewed, along with the best buying options that support our channel at no additional cost to you. Without further ado, let's take a look at what's inside my laptop bag. Kicking it off with the bag itself, this is the Peak Design Everyday Messenger 13 liter V2. Now, as we go through this video, we will cover some of the features and just what we like about this bag. But also, if you're interested in learning more, make sure to check out our full review over on the website, where you'll see more detailed photos and basically just a full review. We'll leave a link for that in the description down below. So opening the bag up, first and foremost, you can see Peak Design's mag latch system down here, which means when the bag is more full, you can have it higher at the top, and when it's less, you can basically buckle it all the way down, which is nice and expands the bag a little bit. And as you can see, mag comes from magnetic, so it will basically magnetically lock onto the front, and we've had good experiences of this throughout the line. So opening it up, let's take a little look, as you can see there, and maybe this camera's better. You can see everything we've got in there, plus some other little pockets. And I suppose there's no better place to start than with the laptop itself. So we'll take it out here. And this, there's just a laptop sleeve at the back, basically, which is always a good place to have a laptop sleeve. This is the MacBook Pro 15 inch 2019 model. It's the USB-C, as you can see here. Um, the one just before they brought out their latest 16 inch. Now, I must note on this bag, it's actually built for a 13 inch laptop. So popping a 15 inch is a little bit sneaky. I've just about made it work, but it is a tight fit. And the new 16 inch MacBook, while I haven't actually tried to cram it in here, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna fit. Um, but if you've got an older 15 inch model, the USB-C version, then you can get away with it. That's just how I found it anyway. Now, obviously this is an Apple MacBook. I've had great experiences with them. However, up until I think a year and a half ago, I was actually using a Dell XPS 15 that I also liked, had similar specs, but I found moving over to an iPhone with AirPods and when I'm editing videos, I've just found an Apple MacBook more reliable. Um, I've never had it crash on me once, which is quite amazing, whereas the Dell XPS crashed a few times. However, if you like Windows laptops, then I would recommend the Dell XPS and there's loads of other laptops out there as well. Not everyone's a massive fan of Apple. We have to realize that. Um, and that's fair enough. And then inside the same laptop sleeve, just in front, there's another little partition and it's actually a tablet sleeve. Now, I have the Amazon Fire HD 10, which is just a 10 inch tablet basically for the price. It's significantly lower than an iPad, but I get everything I need from it. So I use it just to browse the web and I actually really like um, Alexa and this has got Alexa built in, which is nice. So. A little different there, I've also got the case on this as well, which, as you can see, kind of stands this thing up, and you can also have it like that, and obviously it turns around that screen. So that's really nice. So I'd recommend getting the case with it um, if you're gonna pick one of these up, but great little tablet I've had um, when you don't need like an Apple tablet if you've got an Apple laptop, so that's nice. Also nice to get out of the Apple sphere sometimes as well. Then moving on, we will start with, I think my tech pouch, which is in the middle here. So I'll just pull that out. Now I have made a previous video about what's inside of my tech pouch. And that actually had the Tom Bin Sidekick, which is where I have all of my tech stuff. However, for when I'm just coming out with a laptop bag, and especially when I'm heading out with my laptop, I like to carry bigger kind of headphones and the Thule Subterra Power Shuttle Plus 
is what I take with me when I need to take big headphones, which we'll see in just a minute. It's a little bit scaled down. I don't have everything in here. Um, if you're interested more about my tech stuff and what I carry inside a tech pouch, I had loads of little dongles and stuff, um, then make sure to check out that video. Um, but for this use case, I've actually decided to have my big headphones. So in here, we'll start with the Audio Technica ATH MX 50s, which I use for when I'm editing videos on my laptop. So it's more work based. Um, I just find, you know, they've got a really clean audio. There's not too much bass. Um, it's great for kind of getting true to sound audio. You do plug them in with this cable here. So they are jacked straight in. So there's no delay when you're editing videos on Bluetooth, which I've experienced in the past. Um, so they're really good. I recommend them. Then next up, I obviously have to charge my laptop. And this is the just the Apple MacBook power brick you get with your Apple MacBook Pro. However, on the side here, I've got a Fuse Sidekick. And this is great. You just wrap it up, locks into the side there. Being a great little gadget that I've been able to pop on. Then at the back here, I have my SanDisk um, Extreme SSD here. Um, now, we do use Cloud, we use Dropbox and stuff like that, but sometimes it's just good to have you know, hard storage basically, and it's got this USB-C here, and we're slowly getting to just USB-C, so that's really great. Hopefully that continues to move that way. But yeah, nice SSD there. And in this little pouch, as you can see here, I have got the Apple 18 watt fast charger and the USB-C to lightning cable here. So you can see those two in that camera. This is the UK plug which flips out like that, which I really like. The um, USA one is a little bit different, tiny little bit smaller as well. Um, but I have this and this charges my phone and my kind of Bluetooth headphones that we'll all get onto in just a little bit. Um, and also I don't even need this plug. I can plug this directly into my MacBook as well. So that's a really great little cable. Then finally, I've just got this USB-C hub here, which allows me to plug it into my laptop, USB-C and it's just got um, you know, some normal USBs, HDMI, and an Ethernet. Ethernet is really quite important when you're transferring large files. So I've got that. I don't need to use it, but it's still nice to have just in case um, for the time being. But as I said, slowly moving to all USB-C, which will be great when that's fully implemented. And there we go. That's my tech pouch and what kind of the minimal stuff I need to carry with me when I'm using a laptop bag. Um, sometimes I'll take more if I'm traveling, going to a friend's house, I'll always carry more tech, but that's kind of my little minimal setup. Now I'll just throw that here. Then moving on, we have a Yeti 18 ounce Rambler bottle. As you can see here, this has got the straw cap. Um, when you're popping a water bottle inside of your laptop bag with your laptop in, you wanna make sure it's a really solid water bottle. And we've had great experiences with Yeti in the past. And we've reviewed, I think, this exact bottle, although with a different cap, um, and they keep your drinks really cold or your hot drinks really hot. And yeah, really digging these bottles overall. They are a little bit heavier, uh, but I kind of see the benefit. I do like them. Then finally, inside the main compartment, we have the Wool and Prince Travel Collection Zip Hoodie, which if I can find the top here, it's a little bit screwed up because I had it in my bag. Um, but there we go, this is actually a prototype version. So as you can see, it's got the um, kind of teal bar in here, which I don't believe the final version had. I just had this when we were testing it out and giving our feedback. I'm still wearing this really solid merino wool travel zip hoodie. It's always nice, you know, if you are heading out, just to have something in your bag, just in case it gets cold or if it rains, this has got a hood. And that was actually done in collaboration with Wool & Prince from Pack Hacker. So really excited about that product. We do have a full video showing the whole collection, which we'll link as well. Then I will just mention the FlexFold dividers, uh, which is kind of a key bit of the Peak Design Everyday line. And it's probably easier to see in this camera here. And you can fold these down, basically so you can hold a camera and separate bits out. I just have two separated here. So I have my you know, tech pouch in the middle. In fact, I will just take one of them out and we can see Exactly, so there you go. They just Velcro in, the Velcro is really strong and you can have 
little bits like that in there, super versatile, have them whatever way you want them basically. So pop that there. One thing I will note just on the laptop aspect is I don't have a mouse or a, a laptop stand or a keyboard in my kind of laptop bag setup. I just find I don't utilize it. However, some people do really like them. I know Tom who um, here at Packacker really, really likes them. And he has actually made his work from home setup video that can also be put into a bag, which features his laptop stand, his laptop, etc. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, then be sure to check out that video, which we'll leave a link to as well. Um, however, that is the main compartment. As you can see, all the space in there. Next up, we'll just show there's this little zippered compartment here, which I don't utilize any of my stuff per se, but it has got a couple of the lash straps in, which are provided with the bag. And as you can see, there is some, maybe this camera is better, but you can see some, you know, little places here that you can attach that onto. And, you know, you could either go that way or you could go, I think, under the other side of the bag. And I've used this myself personally when carrying a tripod. So that's nice to have and also a nice little place to pop it in the bag itself. Then moving on, we have a, not waterproof, but water resistant zipper, um, which is Zoom, I believe, um, which we've actually had really good experiences with from um, these latest rounds of Peak Design bags. The Zoom zippers have held up really well so far. And inside of this little pocket, zippered pocket, I have some kind of quicker grab items. So I have my wallet, which is the Bellroy note sleeve. And this wallet I've been using on and off for I think two or three years now. And as you can see in this camera here, it's holding up pretty well. I um, really like this kind of slimline wallet. Then we have my AirPod Pros. When I'm not kind of editing on my laptop, um, I'm you know listening to music or I'm taking calls, then I've got these in. They're Bluetooth, so I don't use them for editing, but um, for everything else, they work really well. And the noise cancellation when you're in a coffee shop or a co-working space is really great. Um, I do have this little silicone case on it. So, you know, that's the AirPod Pros themselves. We've got the silicone case, which I've mentioned before in a previous video. Just a cheap thing I picked up on Amazon, but it kind of does its job really well. However, if anyone has any suggestions on the AirPod Pros case, then let me know, because I'm in the market for maybe something a little bit nicer. Then finally, in this little kind of quick grab pocket here, I have a tile sticker, which is so small, that I will show it on this camera here. As you can see there, it's just a tiny little thing. And if you've never heard of tile before, you can sync it up with your phone. And if you lose the bag, you can basically press something on your phone and it will make this beep really, really loudly. So you can find it if you've just left it around your house, if it's in the co-working space, um, and also you can track it as well. Now, I think that's all for the main compartment. Um, we'll just do this up here. And as you can see, the bag now, when I've taken all of my stuff out of it, actually does up all the way. And you can see it's a little bit more streamlined. However, it keeps its shape and stands up really well as well. And this little handle at the top here is nice when you want to use it in kind of briefcase style. Otherwise, it's messenger bag with this strap on, which is really comfy. I actually really enjoy testing this bag again. Make sure to check out the full review for more details. Then on We've got these kind of two pockets on the side here, which is zippered from behind, so it's a little bit protected. And in the first one, on the right, I've just got my phone. Now, this is actually Rebecca's phone. This is just the iPhone 11, um, and that's because I'm using it as a little prop, because I'm filming on my iPhone 11 Pro Max right now, which is what you can see me on. Um, and I wanted to bring up the case itself. So I've got the Rhino Shield Crash Guard NX bumper. And I've really enjoyed using this thing because it doesn't cover the whole back and you can, you know, you have this such a beautiful phone that they've designed and it feels nice and that back is still there, but the bumper, you know, covers the phone and just protects it. So when you put it down on the surface, it doesn't scratch and it's also a little bit easier to hold. So I really like that bumper and you can also get different colors. Um, and then, yeah, just on the iPhone front, I've got my MacBook, works really well AirDrop transferring files over. But of course, you can have a Dell or an HP laptop and you can have a Galaxy phone or any of these other kind of Android phones and you know, you're usually really good. I just decide to use Apple. That's what I found works well for me, but you'll have different preferences. Then finally, I will do the last pocket here, which is on the left. And this has got, might be able to see better in this camera, but a little 
lash strap on with my keys. And I can actually take that out or I can just, you know, bungee cord it, which is cool. And on my keys, I've got another little tile, just in case. This is a Tile Pro. Then I have a Bellroy Key Cover Plus, which I couldn't get the exact same color as the note sleeve at the time, but um, this one is blue, this one's teal, I believe. But yeah, really nice. You've been using this for a couple of years as well. And it's just a nice way to, you know, hold all of your keys. And finally, inside of there, I've got a Orbit Key um, bottle opener, which has come in handy multiple times, not only for bottles, but also for opening boxes and stuff like that. So I'll pop that back in there and then I've just got my car keys on the side there. And that's pretty much it. That was what, you know, everything inside of my laptop bag. Hope you've enjoyed this video and hopefully you can take some stuff from it as well. I've really enjoyed putting this one together and kind of showing you, you know, what is inside my current laptop bag, the Peak Design Everyday Messenger 13 litre V2. Make sure to head on over to the comments down below and let us know what your favorite laptop bag is, as well as, you know, the, some of the favorite stuff you have inside of it. We'd love to hear from you. And thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.